Brushing your teeth is something I guarantee you probably do every single day, but did you know that the type of toothpaste you could be using is not necessarily helping to remineralize your teeth? The great news is, is that I have a fantastic remineralizing toothpaste recipe, something that I shared in my live show of Health Matters that will really help to build stronger teeth for you and for your children. Check it out. We are making the toothpaste. So we are going to put into a little container. So ideally into a glass container. But if you do have the little tubes, you can purchase these online. You can purchase little tubes that you can fill up so that you have your little toothpaste. But here we go. So we have eight teaspoons of a whole food calcium powder. So this is really important because that is what will actually remineralize the teeth. Now you can take your calcium internally as well. Usually something I do recommend for of course making sure that you are maintaining your healthy calcium status and a lot of people who think that they're getting a lot of calcium from their dairy products and their food sources, you're not necessarily always absorbing that calcium. So that's going to be a big difference for you. We also have, so that was eight teaspoons of our whole food calcium powder. Now we have three teaspoons of baking soda. So mixing this into my container as well. And I like to usually mix everything in glass. I, I don't love plastic things, as you know, I've talked about that in other videos, but in glass is better. As well as some xylitol. Now this is four teaspoons of xylitol powder. Now xylitol is a sugar alcohol. And what xylitol does is it helps to ensure that the friendly bacteria in the mouth are alive and well and helps to protect the gums as well so really important for dental health and that's one of the things that I explain often when I'm on television the whole balance about having your healthy microbiome in your teeth so this is one of the things that healthy diversity of your microbiome that's something that you definitely want to ensure that you are maintaining that good diversity of the probiotics the good bugs in the mouth that will help to keep your teeth nice and hard now the unfriendly microbiome biome in the mouth can have and look like this and this means a lot of cavities a lot more plaque tartar buildup and so xylitol is one of those ingredients that helps to keep that healthy microbiome in the mouth so that's really important that's why it's one of the ingredients in our toothpaste so I'm going to mix up those ingredients a little bit to get that nice and blended together and then I'm adding in my coconut oil so four teaspoons of coconut oil and this is, you can see it's, it's the one that goes a little bit more solid at room temperature. And depending on where you live and the temperature of your home, this is going to change a little bit. It'll get a little bit more watery, of course, if it's very, very hot, but it just, in my home, forms the perfect consistency of the toothpaste when it is all mixed together within this. Now that because of the baking soda and the xylitol, it's a little bit gritty. You actually want that because if you think about it to, if you think of sandpaper and that's maybe not the best analogy, but sandpaper on a, on a bumpy wall, a little bit of that grittiness is gonna help with having and removing that dental plaque on the teeth, which is fantastic. So when I mix this down enough, I will get the right consistency of that toothpaste and to be able to get it into my little tube. Now, one of the things that you can add, it's not necessary, but I really like this and my kids love this, was the peppermint essential oil. So this will give it that minty flavor and we're adding 15 drops to my mixture. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. So 15 drops of the mint. Now you could also do cinnamon, you could do orange, whatever flavor you want. Mint, I think with toothpaste, it just goes hand in hand and that's gives that f sort of minty fresh taste after you're finished brushing your teeth. So I'm gonna have to work this a little bit, mix it all together. And then of course, if you wanted to, you could dip your toothbrush right into your jar as such. Just a pea-sized amount on your toothbrush and brush your teeth with that. Or like I said, once you've got it all mi mixed together, you can 
purchase these little tubes and have your own toothpaste at home, but you will love this. It is incredible. This toothpaste is fantastic. I hope that you mix up your batch in the next week or so. You will love it. Let me know how it goes for you. I use it. My kids love it as well. And it really does help to strengthen those teeth and less visits to the dentist. Check out my other videos for more natural health tips over here. I'll see you there.